<laughs> Welcome, everyone. <laughs> we're just uh, we're talking today about resolving conflict, and um, we're just having conflicts. <laughs> so let's resolve them right here live. <clears throat> Well, why don't you begin, since this was your idea for this topic. Okay. <coughs> what is the topic again? <coughs> Resolving conflict. Resolving conflict. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, well, this week uh, was, or, well, last week, mm -hmm. and this week has been tough. Um, I have felt like I wasn't being respected, like I wasn't being loved. And uh, when I feel that way, um, I get angry. And I don't know if everybody it deals with, with this the way that I deal with it, but I want to get that other person hurting <laughs> the same way that I am hurting. I, I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh that explains a lot. <laughs> um. And uh, we both d do that, I think, to, to some extent. Mm -hmm. And um, the cool thing was and is that um, we were able to talk to each other in an honest, uh, productive way where, you know, we, we love each other, we want to stay together, and how do we solve this problem? And so the first thing is that realizing you have a problem there is a little a little notch that you have to uh, fix mm -hmm. and how do we fix it and then coming up with a solution from both of us and then moving forward and you know I know that we've done this in the past it has been a while since we had anything like this right mm -hmm. it was a big fight yeah. yes yeah and um, the word divorce was thrown around <laughs> by someone <laughs> and repeated back by someone else. <laughs> so it was big. Uh, yeah, but yeah. I think it was all exaggerated because of the, the intensity of the moment. Right, right, right. yeah. And you know, uh, life happens that way, right? You can, you can, your whole life can change in a matter of seconds mm. from what, what you say and what you do in that particular moment. Um, I mean, uh, someone can just walk away and say, fuck it, I'm, I'm done with this relationship. But we, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> yep. we, we have so much uh, to live for to... I'm going to start crying now. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> but um, it's worth it. Yes, yes. More than one. And I knew that even though we were throwing these... D words around. <laughs> I knew that, <clears throat> you know, we've got way too much to, to, to be together for, to live for. Um, How do you deal with it? Yeah, so let's see. You wanted us to keep it to five minutes today, so you've used four <laughs> minutes, so that leaves me one. That was a little conflict we were having when we started. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> so, you know, um, the thing that I think that we that we also did in the conversation is we, we we got to a place where we were understanding each other's feelings because up until that point we were only seeing it from our right, own from point our of view. Own, our own point like of what you're doing is pissing me off and what you right. know, but I'm not seeing how what I'm doing is pissing you off, right? And of course what we discovered and is I think always the case is when one person um, Hi Naomi. When one person is um, not being loving, or just, you know, just with, sometimes we get busy, right? And we just get short, right? And we, right, right, and right, we right. talk to each other because we're, you know, we've been very busy lately. And so, right. you know, the tone, you know, that's the thing that, that I was emphasizing, it, and I think we both do it, right? Is you can say something like, um, <clears throat> you know, um, what are you doing with your hair today? <laughs> what are you doing with your hair today? <laughs> right? I mean, that's it's a big something. difference. Yes. Yeah. So, it, so tone is just so much. But we got to the place where we could feel what the other person was feeling. And there's an exercise that I, I brought up that we didn't do, but I'm going to bring it up for people that because um, I, I think we did do it, but in a non-structured way. So I'm going to give you the structure of that. 
um, in a moment. And, and really, it, it is about getting to understand the other person's feelings. Because until we got to that place, again, it's just, I'm only seeing it from my point of view. Yes. And so this exercise helps one to feel what the other person is feeling. It's not necessarily about getting to resolution, mm -hmm. but once you understand how someone else feels, then <clears throat> resolution becomes a lot easier. Yes. And the interesting thing is, and I think I, I, I said this in the midst of the conversation, is that with this exercise, what you always find out, and even in, I think we found it out in the informal way, is that what what I'm feeling, the way I'm showing up and behaving, is creating the same feeling in you that the way you're showing up and behaving is create, is the same feeling that I'm feeling, right? And so when we get to realize that, that, oh, you mean what I'm doing is making you feel how shitty I feel? Well, I don't want to feel this way, and I don't want you to feel that way, right, so what can right, I do right, differently, right? Right? Right, right? So now we can come to a point of resolution. So here's the exercise. It's called in uh, marriage encounters, where I got this from years and years ago. Um, it's called a 10 plus 10. In my book, um, I call it exercise for understanding another. Um, same same idea. So you, you simply write down what your feelings are. And you want to keep it at a feeling level. So it's not accusations. It's not what you did. And how you determine that, the litmus test is, if you can say, if you can exchange the word, I think for the word I or the word I feel for the word I think then it's not a feeling so if I say I feel that you're you know being a bitch to me right well that's not a feeling because I can change the word feel to think I think you're being a bitch if I say I feel hurt right now by what you're saying or by your tone now that is a feeling because you can't say I think hurt yes. so now you know it's a feeling so you write down your feelings about whatever it is, you know, the conflict is about. And then you exchange and you read them. And, you, and in the formalized exercise, you read it twice. You read it once for content and once to get deeper into the feeling. And then you talk about it and, and try to understand, get to what the other person's feeling. Um, and so one way to do that is to, like, talk about, well, you know, when I feel this way, it's like when I felt this way as a child, mm -hmm. when my mother was criticizing me, right? Um, and so then, you know, you might come up with something, oh, yeah, that's like when I was with my ex-husband and he would, right. you know, be right. critical, right? Oh, yes. you, that's, that's how I'm making you feel? Oh, now yes. I understand. Mm -hmm. That, now we're, we're really getting into shadow work, really. Uh -huh. And we're doing shadow work together by, by identifying, exposing, revealing those those feelings. It, but all this only works if you're really, really raw and you're, mm -hmm. you know, a able to verbalize what what you're feeling and what is going on inside mm -hmm. of you. Yeah. I think. Yeah, and, and one and one way that you know is helpful to to do that is. You know, you always require space before we talk. Yes. And I have learned to honor that. It's interesting because I was talking with two different men uh -huh. in the last few days uh, about this, and both of them were saying the same thing. My partner we like needs time. And we so need, I'm, time. I'm, I'm thinking this is maybe, at least to some degree, as a generalization, a male-female thing. Mm. Um, men are from Mar Mars, women are from Venus, right? Right. Um, and so... You know, if I try to rush that process, it ain't going to work well, right? right? So that conversation has has to come, or it's much more productive to come. Just when give, give me a little bit of time. You've that time. Give That's me a little space. bit of time and space, yes, to think <laughs> about. Interesting, because the evolution of our relationship, the evolution of you and I, um, that space used to be days, now it's hours. <laughs> 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 Seems like. Even in a really big conflict like, like mm -hmm. we had. Mm -hmm. So, um, what else do we want to say about this? Um, if it's worth it, if it's um, someone that you really care for, it's going to hurt more, I mm -hmm. think. If you don't care about the person, you can take it or leave it. Mm -hmm. um, if you have some problem with whoever and you don't care, mm -hmm. you're not going to put a lot of time into it. 
you know, and another piece of it is nonviolent communication is one, you know, term for it. Yes. Is speaking, you know, in the first person, talking about my feelings as opposed to accusations. Um, I mean, you know, in our conversation. That one still is still hard for me sometimes. Right. And, and you, know. you know, it's maybe natural for a conversation to start that way. Well, I'm pissed off because you did this. Right. Well, you're pissed off because I did this, right? Right. Um, but then as it evolved, it, it, if it doesn't evolve into a place where you're taking responsibility for your own feelings, then it's just going to stay at that level of polarity. Mm. Um, yes. What else? Is, and this, could ha this is true like in all relationships, not just romantic relationships, but business relationships, whatever. Right. right. Is to take responsibility for one's own feelings. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, what else? There's one other thing I was going to say, but it will come back to me in a moment. Um, and, you know, to really fo uh, focus on the love, you know? I mean, that's what it's all about, right? Is come back to the love. You know, that's one of the things when we were like, I think we were both like considering, because the D word was put out there, what life would be like with each other, right? Without, Without each other. other, yes. And um, that's a huge motivation, right? Yes. And, yes. you know, as I am coaching people, and a lot of times, I mean, somebody, one of my clients recently, was actually, um, they were they were almost, they, they were breaking up in text while I was coaching them. Oh, my God. <laughs> and, um, and, and one of them said, I'm not breaking up with you. Are you breaking up with me? And, and that told me that, hey, there's enough love there to make this work. And I said to my client, just call her and tell her you love her. Right? Mm -hmm. Just do that, right? And and we'll work this out one way or another. Because, you know, the first breakup usually does not take. Because then, one of two things happens, is you, you either realize, this is a toxic relationship, I don't want to be in it, I'm done. Um, right. But usually it takes a few times to even get to that, right? Because right. then you start, when you do break up, you realize, oh, this is what I'm missing out on. So there is something to build on here. How can we we resolve this? Oh, but but the result of it all, um, after that talk, and after putting in place mm -hmm. what it is that we wanted from our relationship, our relationship is flourishing again. Uh, we're being nice to each other. We're talking nice. We, we're going back to what works, and what mm -hmm. works is. You know, I love you, kissing each other and doing things because we love each other. And that was one of my New Year's intentions, is to kiss my wife that, more. That, that, that. <clears throat> and, uh, and it wasn't, it was happening a little bit, but not when we were, you know, having disagreements or just even a little bit irritated with each other. Right. You know, who wants to kiss that person, right? Right. Although it might help. <laughs> <laughs> but if you're irritated with me, ain't I no way you're going to let me kiss yes, you. Yes, <laughs> right. I'm not going to kiss you. Yeah. So, um... So, but now, because of this, the resolution that we've created, we're being nicer to each other for the time being, everything goes in cycles, right? Um, right. We will cycle back and probably get a little bit less. Uh, hopefully it won't go to the point that it was. Um, but, uh, but now I'm kissing you more than maybe I ever have in this week. <laughs> this all went down on Sunday was the fight. Um, yes, Sunday was the fight. Sunday night was the resolution. Mm -hmm. No, no, Monday. Well, partly resolved on Sunday and then completely resolved by Monday, I'd say. So that's how it works. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So, ah, gosh, you know, and part of this is, said we're so busy and how to deal with bus with busyness, right? Um, to create spaciousness in, one, one, in one's life. It's the, the client I was just talking to this morning, it was all about that, right? And part of this mindset, I'll throw that out mm -hmm. as well, just that, you know, if I'm busy and I'm saying this is a bad thing, then I'm going to feel a lot more straight, stressed than, I said, say, than if I say I'm busy, but it's a good thing, right? How I frame it, mindset. Mm -hmm. So um, look to the positive people. To the love. Bring as much love as you can to every relationship. Yes. When there's conflict, talk it out. So talk many people it out. don't. And that's Open when it up. spirals downward. It's a and, hard and, thing and it to gets, do. But. And that's when it becomes toxic. Yes. Gosh, I, I see so many women who say, I've heard so many women say, I was married to a narcissist. Mm. Well, maybe they were a narcissist because you weren't giving them enough love. 
and vice versa for men saying that about yes, women. That's true. Um, so, but it starts with communication. That's right. So, okay, yes. we love you guys. If you got something out of this video, uh, please give us a comment. How do you? Uh, let's get some dialogue going. How do you uh, create resolution um, or, or you resolve conflict? And um, give us a like. Share this with anyone that uh, you think can benefit from it. The couples you know that might be having challenges. All right, and so we love you, and we will see you next week for Thought Shifting Thursday.